the 12th annual Taste for Sports Gala fundraiser is coming up. And here to tell us about the gala is someone who is very familiar with the event. He is the 2018 Taste of Sports Sportsman of the Year, former NFL player, former Charger, yeah, Chris yeah. Steelman. Good morning. Hey, Chris. Good to have you here. Well, for, thanks for having me. For those that don't know, here's Chris's bio. He comes to us from Hoosier land. He was an undrafted free agent in 2020, 2003. He only became one of the best at his position, four-time Pro Bowler. He was named to the Chargers All-50 Year Team, and perhaps his most entitled, important title of late, is Sportsman of the Year as it relates to a taste for sports. Congratulations on a year of your reign. I guess the uh, we won't want to bury the lead is you're going to stay on with the organization after your year as Sportsman of the Year, correct? Yeah, uh, I enjoy helping them. It's a fun little event for the, the gala and then to go to these events and to play floor hockey and flag football, basketball with these kids and adults. It's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's rewarding. And uh, I'm here to get the word out so people can come and, and uh, help out with the, the cause. You know, so really, this, this fundraiser benefits over 1,400 kids and adults with developmental disabilities. Mm -hmm. what, what was it like for you to meet some of these kids as, as you became involved in this organization? It was a lot of fun. Uh, they take their sports very serious. Uh, they're very aggressive. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know what to really uh, to, to expect, expect yeah. when it was coming when I went the first time, but uh, I loved it. The kids, they don't care if I play for the San Diego Chargers or if they're moved up to L.A., whatever it is. They, they don't care. They love that I'm there to help them out. Uh, they know what I'm doing to help them get the program going. I mean, there's 24 sports that they play. How do they receive it? You're a mountain of a man, and here you are coming down. You, know, you tower over a lot of these kids. How do they receive you? Uh, really well. Uh, they... Um, Man, they, they got great, they're, they're funny little kids, man. They, they, they just love battling out there. They, they, they're they hitting and they're throwing people. They're fighting a little bit. So it's really right in my wheelhouse. So you are now giving up your reign as a sportsman of the year with this organization. And you're, you're passing the torch, if you will, to Willie O'Ree, which we have, we have the bobblehead. <laughs> Here of Willie. I never got a bobble. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? Next contract. What, what, what does it mean to you to be able to pass the torch to such well, a trailblazer? Like Willie? I, Willie Reed, you know, if anybody doesn't know who Willie was, he you know, was one of the first black uh, African-American hockey player. They call him the Jackie Robinson of hockey. He started off in 1958 with the Bruins, and then he played for over 20 years, made a, a stint with the goals. So... Uh, it's exciting. It's fun. I'm, I'm excited to meet the guy, to hear some of his stories, and uh, and it's just more more uh, stuff for people to see, or more. Uh, I don't know the word I'm missing. It, just, it puts a spotlight on, on what's needed. A bigger spotlight yeah. on this on this event, so more people will donate. Come to the event. It's free beer, free food. It should be a blast. We have some <laughs> of the items in in front of you. I, you know, I, the thing that trip. Well, I, I, I guess we got to know each other a little bit last year. I went and saw your acceptance speech, or your speech. I thought it was very powerful, and everybody in the room was very keen to hear what you have to say. You took it very seriously. What is your advice to Willie as he goes forward as the year reigning sportsman of the year? My advice to Willie? Yeah. He's like 83 years old. He's got <laughs> plenty of advice for me. Yeah, right. We all need to be taking notes for Willie. Right. Well, I mean, and as it have relates fun to with it, enjoy it, take it all in, like, uh, just enjoy it, have a beer, kick back and relax. Okay, so let's talk about the event. So it is, uh, I think we have the information we can put up. It's Saturday, May 30th, 6 mm -hmm. to 9. That's tomorrow. No, tomorrow. No, it's, it's That's tomorrow. So we have, oh, like we got that. the graphic wrong. That is, uh, okay. it's tomorrow's May. It's tomorrow, May 30th. Yeah, tomorrow at the, inside uh, Balboa Park. Balboa Park. It's a uh, parking, a lot of parking is available, and you can get, there's vendors galore, right? It's 25 restaurants? 25 restaurants, breweries, wineries, some vodka. Uh, <laughs> there's just gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of food to eat, uh, all sorts of brew, uh, food restaurants, uh, pickup sticks, Olive Garden. A lot of big name sports figures, including you and Willie, will be walking the room, so uh, a lot of autograph hounds will be out. Oh, for sure, sign as many as we can. It, and uh, so it's just a cool thing that, and again, it's the, the important thing is you're helping out people who really could use a helping hand. Yeah. All right, tickets are 60 bucks, which I think is a bargain for all of that. Yeah, free food, free drinks. You can get filled. <laughs> yeah, I bet you got your $60. You can get your, you can get your money worth. <laughs> and, and it really goes, it, it stays here in San Diego and well, that, really helps these programs. That's the best kids. part about it. This is a, it's a community charity. So whatever they 
for whatever we receive at the event and throughout the year, it all stays in the community. And so you can see what you're doing and it ain't going anywhere else. It's all for the kids and young adults. Well, it's All a right, pleasure Chris. to have you in, Chris. Thanks Thank for you having so me. We will see you tomorrow night. I suspect there will be a camera there to document the uh, transition from crown to crown. You don't have to put the crown on them or anything, do you? <laughs> no, I don't think. More information on our website at KUSI.com. Definitely a great organization to help out. We'll be right back after the break.